How much does it cost to lay a football pitch? That's what we're talking about today. This is Medium Latte Extra Hot, episode 217. I am your merry gardener. So um, recently, I remembered something I saw on a documentary, which was about Wrexham Football Club. And uh, it just came to me and I thought, oh yeah. And I, and I was like, that's really fascinating. So I'm going to read to you this little section. Let me try and... Okay, here we go. So this was from a few years ago at the um, Wrexham Football Club, which is called the Race Course Ground. Okay, <clears throat> so returfing of the Race Course Ground pitch is well underway, following the decision to rip up the playing surface following concerns raised so far this season. So they had already laid, and I'll tell you, I'll show you the cost of what that was. They had to rip it up and then relay. So they had to lay it twice. Uh, but there's obviously there's a cost of ripping it up as well. Work on the playing surface started on Sunday with the original pitch ripped up and the new turf has now arrived as being laid. Look at those rolls of turf. Massive. That's a big beastie job that is. The decision to re-turf was taken following concerns after our first few home games that work in the summer has not delivered a playing surface to the standard we believe is required. Fans have been having their say on social media. So, um, Yuan Griffo said, I think they're re-turfing it so it's suitable for Ryan and Rob's helicopter to land on. So the, Ryan and Rob are the owners. Um, you you know Ryan Reynolds who plays, um, who's an actor, massive Hollywood star. The other guy, Rob, is also an actor, not as massive, but still, um, you know, they're, they're, they're friends. Um, then you've got I, I'm not even going to say that. So don't understand why it needs re-turfing. Was in good nick against Chesterfield. Need a new midfield, not new grass. Oh, a bit spicy in the comments there. Uh, we could have a pitch of sand. It wouldn't matter as we don't play it on the floor anyway. We don't play it on the floor anyway. That's interesting. Okay, so here we go. I'm coming to the cost. The re for the race course ground pitch is well underway. Okay, we've seen that bit. Uh, have I just seen... I've literally read the same thing. Where's the price? Where did I put the price? Oh, give me two seconds. I'll... Here we go, I found it. So, in the documentary, Rob is seen balking at the cost of installing a new £100,000 pitch at the start of the 2021-22 season. But after learning the surface defective, the owners are then forced to spend out Another 200 to yet re-turf again. I guess that their costs, yeah, I don't, unless the prices have gone up for the next season. I don't know. Or, or that cost of ripping it up is probably in that as well and getting rid of all the turf because I have to tip all that rubbish. It's manpower to get rid of that. It's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> that's insane. We're going to watch a little clip here as well. Let me pull that up. I'm going to have to stop all this and start again. Okay, here we go. We're going to watch a clip from the documentary and they're talking about the pitch and how much it's going to cost. So, I've got some bad news. We relayed our pitch this summer um, at no small expense and it looks great, but there's something wrong with it. And um, we... It's made of burlap. <laughs> we had... Basically, yes. The roots of the grass are very short, so when, when someone steps into it and the, the top of it sticks to the bottom of the boot and they pull up, the whole top layer of grass comes off with it. So, we got an independent expert on this stuff to come out. He says... This is the kind of thing you, you thought you'd be talking about or thinking about. I'm actually fucking riveted because I, I, I can't wait I, to find out what happens. What we've been told by this, this independent expert is he said, you need to drown this pitch. You need to overwater it the whole time. That will help the pitch hold together. As we speak, Ewan is out there with a the hose. Is there a more likelihood that someone could be injured? Yes. Jesus fuck. Now, the overwatering is what reduces that possibility. I'm going to hit my head as hard as I can against this right now. <laughs> uh, and how, it's going to cost us a lot of money. Uh, how, much, how much money have we spent on the first round of it? I can look it up. Approximately. Uh, don't look it up. It's not uh, going to help us. Probably about one hundred thousand pounds. Fuck. And it'll probably cost us that again, if not more, to relay the pitch. Yeah, it's 
It's it sucks. Mm. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh can't try to get rid of this screen. I can't get rid of it. Okay. It's all going wrong. Okay, so what do you think about that? How in how expensive is it to lay a pitch? Now that is not even like a premiership pitch. That is like I wonder if the price changes, maybe the standards are higher, maybe the I don't know. It, it must just price go up depending on the size of well, I guess all pitches are the same size, but um maybe i don't know i don't i'd like anyone who does pitches there's anyone out there who who lays pitches cuts the grass does any have inf inside info that i don't know about and uh, i'd love to know a bit more ins and outs of laying a football pitch i find that really fascinating because it's such a world away from what i do and what i've known i've laid small turfs in comparison to that <laughs> like miniature postage stamp type things in comparison to a football picture i don't even know what that's all like i'd love to dive into that maybe someone out there knows that can just maybe fill me in maybe we could have an interview or something that'd be really fascinating uh, guys have a good day and i'll see you on monday take care people bye now